How's it going guys? My name is Alex Good evening. and welcome to a review of the new packs and new players that Konami is uh, giving to us. You might be new to my channel. Welcome. Make sure you subscribe because uh, this is going to be a training guide, not just by auto locating, which you can do obviously. For instance, this Neymar can be hundred traded if you auto locate. It's a free Neymar from Daily Pen Challenge. But since I've been playing this game for such a long time and I also been absorbing the information from a football pros, uh, we have a few videos collabs uh, together with people who have been playing this game for decades and uh, I know a little bit of a thing or two what Konami wants you to achieve in this game and if you enjoy uh, the gameplay that I play that uh, other people uh, who like to dribble a lot playing you might be into the builds so uh, the uh, players that Konami is giving to us uh, in this update blue lock players will be covering them there is also a special pack which is a classic number 10 uh, we're going to be talking about them and also some hidden players. Uh, obviously, these this packs I have covered too. Make sure you check out a separate video on my channel. But this classic number 10 players, if you saved your nominating contact and I recommended you to save one, Kanami out of sudden dropped a very interesting pack. This is a daily game uh, penalty challenge. I was not familiar with Kanami's game, so if you click on the chance deal over here, uh, this. Um, Magnifying glass, you can see that there is a list of players that is uh, available for you to claim. I claimed four, four more to come. And Jack Wilshire, look, this is as close to my Modric, the old Modric card, after Karami decided to rebalance the cards. In order to get the blue lock cards, you need to go to your uh, challenges and complete this challenge against TI. Very easy. There are three games. Make sure you complete all of them and you can get more. I think starting next week, uh, eventually you'll be getting all of the cards in the uh, campaign and uh, you can't really see them right now if you go to the packs but eventually they'll appear here as a pack keep in mind that the blue lock cards for instance if i put some blue lock cards into this team i will uh, need to ensure it or by oral signing that i have three of them in my team so that the effect is maximized so for instance if i put uh, this miller over here i have in zagi i have uh, rushford and i put miller and look the improvement on the card is plus three maximum effect maximum effect and the improvement is to certain stats so for instance for this rush word is speed acceleration balance and stamina also there are separate improvement from the manager and it has increased the gp managers are overpowered now i'll be making a separate video about that i also covered it briefly in my update video so make sure to check it out so as you can see without the booster with the booster so you might not be getting this exact stats if you follow this guideline you need to ensure that you, for these cards, for blue lock cards, you need to have three of them into your team, in your team, okay? So there you go. This is auto allocating. I didn't change anything. Auto allocating, sometimes you can trust Konami at times when you want something else from your card. You need to, like, a little bit of tinker. So I like the auto allocating. The problem with this Garnash is that he has no skills at all. Look at this. Only four skills. It's going to be difficult to perform one touch passing, through passing, uh, different shooting techniques uh, with him. He has a few, but you need to add additional skills to him by legacy like transferring them or like by uh, luck. Maybe you will be getting some nice skills, one-on-one -on -one skills maybe, but the card is, is, is nice. And as a collective item, I'll be very happy to have him. But someone who is uh, entering your team and uh, helping you dominate divisions or win online games, gonna be tough. This Hoyland is very interesting. This Hoyland can be used as a target man. And if you're playing triangles a lot and you want your wingers to run into in behind defenders and you want someone who distributes the ball to them, this Hoyland can be one of these cards. And for that, if you really like to distribute the ball, you would want to improve his passing. This is not the build where his passing is in very high numbers. He has no vantage passing and no through passing. But because he has physicality, this is nice. So you, you can build from here. You can maybe twink, tinker with this build. If you want him to be a better passer, try to improve it, sacrifice some shooting maybe, right? Shoot into 80, something like that, and then improve his passing. 73 is okay. My Neymar with through passing and vantage passing and 73 in low pass is performing very well for me. So additional skills are important. He has none. So there you go. Uh, the other thing about this card is that his physical contact is 90. So that's how he's going to be covering the ball, playing as a proper target man. Even though his play style is goal poacher, but you can use him like that. So um, this is uh, one of the builds, but I will be still sticking probably to something like that. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be finishing 85 and then some passing uh, plus two, something like that. So this is probably my build. Then the other card is the case of Takefusa Kubo. Actually very nice card. Uh, I am looking forward to get him. And I got a different card from the other one. I'll be comparing that in a second. So that we can see whether these cards are even better as opposed to their previous versions in this game. Because I will show you the difference. Before Konami rebalanced this game a year ago, 
Kimmich, the card of Kimmich, will be getting there, is absolutely dominating what these cards are uh, offering. And you will see how important it is for you to save these cards from the past. And uh, even, even if you need to apply contracts, at times it is worth it. So this Kuba is very nice. This is my build. Uh, you can copy that if you want to. Uh, some additional skills that you need to add. I'll not be concentrating on each player. You, you can understand what you need to add to the players if you watch uh, the videos, right? Attackers, midfielders and defenders. These are videos on my and eFootball Universe channel. Make sure you check it out. And uh, this is Marcus Rashford. So this Marcus Rashford, what I did with this. Uh, also, speaking of additional celebrations, that's what I wanted to cover too. So you get additional celebrations by signing new players, right? If you want to celebrate with Marcus Rashford uh, this celebration or if you want to celebrate with Bellingham like that, you need to sign new cards. That's what Konami has introduced recently with the update. Makes a lot of sense. They want you to spend time, to spend maybe coins to get these cards from the packs. Uh, they might be tweaking, maybe uh, fixing that in the future. I highly doubt that, so you need to accept that. Uh, but this is the Rushword that I actually carried over my old Rushword into this one because my old Rushword had one notch passing. I feel like for strikers, for wingers, one notch passing is a very important skill. It would be beneficial to have that so any, any player in your team. But this is Marcus Rushword with uh, my build. Looks like this. If you want to copy that, go ahead. I feel like that's the best build because we're improving his finishing to 80. We're improving his dribbling significantly so that he is kind of like can perform the double touch, right? Because he has that skill. He also has Rabona. He is very pacey and uh, he can play as a right wing forward too. So different positions as a center forward too. So as a center forward, I feel like that's a very nice card because he has kicking power. And uh, okay, finishing, but kicking power is crazy. So please stun and uh, score stunning shots with him. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be very impressive. Let's compare him with the other Rushford, right? I signed a Rushford card um, with the uh, Eric Ten Hack pack, so, right? So that was uh, the card that I decided to carry over into the card on the left. Did I make a mistake? Tell me, because that's auto allocating uh, according to. Uh, the cards without the booster. So card on the left is getting the booster. So it's getting plus three to very important stats. So they are pretty similar, but obviously the card on the right doesn't have the celebration. So I feel like I didn't do anything wrong here. I get a new card. Uh, I kind of fancy that design on the left and uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, there is the Kimmich card that is the training guide for Kimmich, a very good player. He can play as a right back, can play as a defensive midfielder, as a center midfielder, good at passing, good at dribbling, good at defending. Very nice. You would say, whoa, what a card. He can do everything. Now there is a catch. And also that's with the booster, right? Now let's compare him. Let's forget about the booster for a second because you can't truly see in this display. If you are interested as a football hub, they haven't really updated that feature. I would love them to update it on PC. But look at this max level. Yes, imagine there's a booster plus three to certain stats, but the card on the right, the player the card of Kimmich that was released is just, it solos that card. In every single possible stat, it is better. So yeah, that's the benefit of saving the old cards, old player the cards. So you would say that that Kimmich on the left is good, but look at the Kimmich on the right. So I discarded the Kimmich on the left. I might have made a mistake, so don't discard your new cards. Money Economy is going to be dropping some events where you need to use these cards. So don't discard a lot of them, at least leave some. But I decided to discard the card on the left because I need GPs. I'll explain why I need GPs in a future video. You will see that very soon. This is uh, Bruno Fernandes. This is my guide for Bruno Fernandes, how I trained him. I decided that it's a little bit lacking in passing and dribbling. I would have wanted that to get into blue area. Why is it important to get the stats in the blue area? Well, I think Konami is actually suggesting that if they're in blue area, they are more consistently um, good and um, very efficient. And uh, I, I would want to have as many stats in blue area as possible. But I feel on a blue arrow with the full boost from the blue lock campaign, like remember, this is uh, what blue lock campaign, this uh, E sign is improving. So that's plus to reach certain stats. It's also important. It's still a fantastic card. And um, yeah, let's take a look at uh, the hurricane card. Um, this is a Hurricane, my build. What you want with Hurricane is his finishing. I would downgrade slightly just so that I can distribute the points elsewhere and kicking power, right? 93-92 is good enough for you to just smash it and score a goal. And instead I improved, I feel like a little bit of dexterity, low body strength, so he's a little bit faster. And I improved his dribbling so that his tight position is 80 and passing 2 to 80. That's a rare sight to see a striker with 80 passing, but in real life I would say Kane deserves 90 passing. And he has no one touch pass, that's the downside. Like he has definitely all the through passing abilities in real life, the one touch pass 
passing abilities. They didn't watch enough of his games for Tottenham. I don't know what's wrong with them, but let's compare him, for instance. There has been recently a player doing card of uh, Kane, which in fact I have the one uh, I packed him. So there is Kane max level, and there you go. This is, you can see that the Kane on the right, I would say, is slightly better, right? On the other hand, there is plus three booster, so you need to examine these cards in more detail. But I feel like I'll be discarding one of these cards, right? One of the canes is going to be discarded, and most likely it's going to be the player to the card because you cannot add additional skills on cane on the left. It's not like I'm going to be using cane cards, but it's like the purpose of these cane cards is that you are uh, attempting to play them as target man, right? Deep line forward, they're going to be dropping down a little bit. So play them as target uh, man and um, distribute the ball. There we go. This is Chupamotin, a card that I'm most likely going to be discarding. This is my build. I just don't know. It's a little bit of a mid card. But for those collecting, don't do this, right? If you collect cards. This is Muller, another um, underwhelming card. His pace is really close to Kane's. And many people will say, oh, look at the speed. But if you forget about, like, uh, you don't forget about Kane. Everyone is excited about Kane, but he's just as fast, I guess. So what I did with this card, I downgraded some stats. Improved, uh, I feel like, uh, speed massively. So that improves his kicking power to 85. You can smash it with him. And uh, also uh, there is a fantastic um, stat that is tight possession 80. So you can control the ball. I kind of don't understand what Konami is uh, watching. What kind of games they're watching. Physical contact only 65. For a player who is well known to be uh, actually very dominant on the pitch. I mean it is what it is. This Odegaard, I signed him. And I feel like I'm going to be adding him my double touch. I have only one skill token of double touch. If you're not aware what to do with these skill tokens. How you're adding them additionally uh, like specifically the skill that you want on the player of your desire uh, you need to check out my other video but this is uh, the dribbling uh, that you really I mean it's nice yeah I downgraded slightly and improved some other stats uh, good balance 90 AC so many stats in blue areas I feel like that's a very good card a uh, new pack uh, classic number 10 this so Mario would not be signing a little bit slow for my liking and also like uh, lacking a little bit of, uh, I don't know, just like not really, not really him. And also like take a look at this card. I downgraded his finishing. If you auto allocate this, um, look at auto allocate this, he gets plus four to finishing. My build has zero, right? But this is also important. Now that they changed the playstyle of classic number 10s, they are making rounds into the box. So if you rely on finishing a lot with cards like Odegaard, maybe downgrading his finishing, maybe you would want to have a little bit different build. But look at this. This is Dybala. And for Dybala, I feel like I want to finish with him more. And his position, second striker, you kind of suggest that you need to be there in the, like... Uh, finishing zone so that you can maybe uh, take a shot more than pass so I what I did I downgraded his pass and improved his shooting and I feel like I improved a little bit of a dribbling too that we get in 90s right or downgraded it and instead I improved his speed with low body strength and uh, now he has a very solid kicking power nice finishing and a uh, good set of skills as well, 1v1 one, one skills too, very nice. This Gunda, another example of how Konami is rebalancing the game, and this Gunda gun on paper, look at this, so many blue areas, stats, he is uh, looking very nice, good, um, yeah, good, not, not good balancing. 80 is nice, but I would have wanted more. But look at this, let's compare him to the other card, if you had the privilege of playing this game <laughs> before, and bef because Konami is uh, allowing you to carry over these cards, right, from one season to another. I don't remember, that's like last year's card, probably e Football 2023 though. But this is Gunda from City, and uh, it actually solos the new Gunda, uh, right? So this is just max level without the manager boost. I'll be explaining how new manager boosts works in my separate video, I think tomorrow. But look at this. Absolutely not even a contest, not even a contest, right? And the best part about the Gunda on the right is that he has much higher defense awareness, plus 16. So he can actually defend. That's insane, man. I just, I have no words. And besides, the card on the right has box to box playstyle, which is equally good for defending and attacking because he will be making the runs in attack for you too, trust. So, this is um, Ganso, a card that I actually signed, and I feel like I'm gonna be trying to achieve something like that with him. I signed him for the reason that he's playing the Brazilian league and I'm building a Brazilian team. For the events right there is going to be a lot of events with turkish league teams brazilian league teams and in order to complete them fast you play against the yeah you may sim the game but in order to complete them as fast as possible so you're not wasting your time you would want to sign a card like that or sign any brazilian cards so that they're in your team and they're improving the uh, multiplayer points so i signed this card because besides he's a four-star contact right four-star meeting contact i had one 
sitting in my uh, my inventory and I used it. This is Grealish. Like I really want to get this card. Orchestrator, a very unique playstyle, and um, also he is uh, decent because he reminds me of my player Duke Modric. Shall I compare him in a second? This is the build. Eight points in defending, and he's really good. He's really close to that Modric. Close defense awareness, almost like uh, not close, a little bit uh, underwhelming. I would rather want uh, five points from aggression to defense awareness, but it's still nice. Good at dribbling, good at passing, and uh, absolutely like. And I, I kind of like it's a period when I started watching English Premier League. I would say when um, <laughs> Wiltshire was injury free, <laughs> these are very good times. Very competitive Arsenal team. They are right now, and it's really interesting to see how the English Premier League will be. Um, uh, panning out, right? Uh, and the fight for the title is on. Like, look, this is the Modric card from the also one year ago. They were releasing overpowered cards, overpowered cards. Like, look, the card on the left was supposed to be premium card, right? Boost your epic cards. Even though Konami is giving you for free a card like that, but usually this is a card that you would pack with like one, two, three, five thousand coins. The card on the right is my Modric that actually signed with a free try and you could have signed it from Player Duke for 100 coins. And if you did, congratulations. That's my favorite card in the game, hands down. He can do everything, he can pass the ball, he can defend, he can dribble, he can finish. And he has fantastic balance. And also all of the skills are there. This is the Savage also, if you completed the penalty game and you have a try, you can get him. I think I had allocated, it's fine. A little bit slow, acceleration 67, so he's not gonna be reaching his top speed in time. Uh, you would want to have it at least at 70, but it's a little difficult to improve. You need to sacrifice defending and don't sacrifice it. Defense awareness is the most important stat for defender. Check out my defending uh, video with um, a football universe channel. Now, this is final card for the day. Thank you for watching. If you watch till the end, please comment White Rabbit so they know that you're watching till the end. You're a dedicated viewer. I really appreciate that. Besides, you might be interested in how you are training the card that you just pulled. So this is Chakano Glue. Uh, this is the training for Chakano Glue. I think um, this is a nice card. What I did, I think I sacrificed some stats. So they're not like 95 or like they're 90, but instead I improved his defending, right? So if you play him as an orchestrator, he's gonna be somewhere in the middle. And I really want to stop the attacks before they're reaching my defenders. So having defending stats, that's why I rate the Modric card so much, is very beneficial in my opinion. So this is the review of the cards. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of videos this and next week about the new update because Konami has really been working hard on this update and a lot of Easter eggs, a lot of new things in the game. Uh, I'll see you next time. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on because I also stream twice a week. Peace.